So that was Adrian from the Community Advisory Board. If you want to get involved with Pride in a future year, just go to the website. They're always after people to join, whether it's a volunteer on the day, a volunteer in the long run, whatever you want to do, they will find a space for you. Has everybody got 4G? I just want to check, bit of housekeeping. Have we all got 4G? Good, because look, how is history supposed to remember us if Instagram doesn't, guys? I'm just thinking of you. And remember the hashtag is love happens here for maximum likes, babes. Okay, so Minnie and I want to do a selfie. Will you be in it with us? So, I think it's time we at the very least need arms in the air for a selfie. Absolutely. What filter do you think we should have? Prima, I like. What's the one with cats on? I want a cat nose. Okay. I don't understand we'll how it works. We'll put it through post-production later. Okay, right. So, I'll count you down. Minnie, this way, this way, this way. Okay, babe. Are you ready? In three, two, one. I'm happy with that, actually. No, it's fine. There's going to be a lot of chin in that. Yours, yours. It was you, right in the front there. Can I just say how insane this is? I mean, I know for you, Minnie, glittering star, normal day at work. But look at all these LGBT pluses. It's like the Pride Pyramid stage, I have to say. Now, you may or may not notice, because they've been so subtle, they're very sweet. But we have been joined on stage by a whole array of fabulous people. This is, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise, it's the London Gay Big Band. These guys are so smooth that they could be Jules Holland's love children. They do so much for Pride in London, not just actually working on the big day, but doing lots of gigs for us. And especially, we did one on Monday as part of the Pride in London Festival on the South Bank Centre. They are absolutely amazing. They have got a variety of singers with them. Now, guys, I'm going to give you the time. Stefan, if I say play the video, are you ready? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are you ready for that? You may also recognize them from Britain's Got Talent. And Stefan here is incredibly handsome. He could even turn me. How they are you feeling? We're feeling phenomenal. We're so excited to be here. Now, these guys have been here for six years years in a row. Now this is my first time, so be kind to me, but these guys are absolute pros. Okay. They're shaking theirs apparently not, but they're just being humble. So they're the first act we've had so far who've come with their own intro VT, which I'm quite excited about. So turn your eyes to the screens for one moment, then turn back and make some noise for the London Gay Big Band. The London Gay Big Band is a full-size 18-piece jazz band. The band is actually really, really diverse. We've got people from all walks of life who all come together for the love of music. The band's been going for about six years, so we started it in 2011. The band's played at Pride for all six years. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Pride! Playing at Pride is just such a special, special thing because we are made up entirely of volunteers, we're a community group, but we're actually a really, really successful community group that has such high quality. And I think just being able to showcase the band and, and this group at an event such as Pride, you know, performing in front of tens of thousands of people is just really, really special. Pride is just such an important celebration of everything that we've achieved as an LGBT plus community. And I think it's important that we don't forget sort of the LGBT plus history and where we've come from and that there's actually still so much more to do. And I think it's really exciting and important for the London Gay Big Band to be able to play some of the biggest stages in the world and spread our message of LGBT solidarity, optimism and love and our, ultimately our passion for music into the world. Happy Pride, everybody! Are you excited? We're going to play a little set for you. We are the London Gate Big Band, and I'd like to bring in our first vocalist, the gorgeous Gary Amos.
only here because we love it. We're not here for the money or the fame. We all just love what we do. So, whew. The next song is Don't Let the Sun Go Down On Me. First song I ever sang and uh, re-recorded by the amazing George Michael. And I dedicate it to my friend Mel and Lucien. Here we go, hope you like it.
that was the gorgeous Gary Amos. And now please welcome to the stage the marvelous Helen O'May. Woohoo! Woo Hi everybody! How are we doing? We're gonna go get a little bit crazy now, really? <laughs>
say so much, we're all like, oh yeah! We know this number. This next one's gonna be a, a number that I'm sure that you will all know, and I'm sure you've seen it in the West End as well. It's about women that are dreaming, dreaming for a purpose to go somewhere in their lives and to make a difference. This is from Dream Girls, everybody. And I am telling you I'm not going You're the best man I've ever known There's a way I can ever go No, no, there's no We didn't get to do that last year, so thank you for making it so special. Woo! See you later. Thank you very much. That was Helen and May. Give it up once more, for Helen and May. We're going to bring our last vocalist on for this number. The fabulous Simon Lynch just finished in Les Miserables. Won our jazz idol competition. This is going to be our last number. Thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, happy Pride. Love happens here! Pride! Birds flying high You know how I feel Sun in the sky
And make some noise for the London Gay Big Band. Hey, we're the London Gay Big Band, and we've just been on the stage in front of thousands of people doing our set for half an hour. Yeah, you guys were on the parades, and actually, there's so many of you, which is brilliant, okay, in a really, really good way. Have you enjoyed it? Is this the first time for any of you, or have you done it before? This is our sixth year performing on Trafalgar Square. Oh, fantastic. So we are Trafalgar Square regulars, and we absolutely love it. It's just such an amazing experience every year for Pride in London. You know, the crowd loves everyone and anyone, but there was something about you guys when you came on. All of a sudden, everyone was paying attention, and they got right into it, because I feel like you are, uh, you appeal to everyone of any age. Yeah. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. We're a part of the community now. It's been over six years, and we've just really been looking at all the drag queens and all us, screws and all us. It's great. And, and I think the other yeah. thing is that we play live music. We are the only act that is 100% live. One of the only acts that's 100% live. Yeah. And that is really amazing. Yeah, and obviously, it's, it's obviously very important for you guys to be involved with London Pride, right? It's a big yeah. thing for you guys. Yeah. Why is that? Absolutely. Well, I've been marching probably for the best part of 30 years now. Like, it's been a long time. And, <laughs> You're uh, not that old. I know, I know, I know. I, know. I'm, I'm, I started when I was 12, by the way. And, uh, no, but it's just amazing now to be playing at Pride and with these guys. As I said, Step of a Tank, we're such an exclusive, in inclusive band. And, you know, there's men, women, yeah. you know, transgender people. We just, you know, all ages. And, and it's just such a great format. And we play live music. They loved it. The idea of Pride is to have acceptance, to be diverse, to be who you want to be. Yeah. It's very obvious that you all do that. Is that why you think you're such a success? Oh, we're a success because we've got a fabulous lesbian drummer. <laughs> I mean, yeah. show what it's like to be part of a community yeah. Yeah. we're Absolutely. not individuals we really are a community at the end yeah. of the day we support each other through thick and thin and we represent everything that yeah. there is about the gay community and support everyone else out there what i love about what you guys have just done is that you know the lgbt community is very important to all of us today for london pride but if you look in the audience and the crowd and the parade you've got mums and dads and kids and everyone that must feel good to appeal to everyone watching is that right yeah, absolutely absolutely it's great that there's so many different people out in that audience <laughs> I think you're right in the sense we've had a hard time in London over the last few months and there's been all sorts going on. Today's a great day just to actually go, let's have fun, you know, and London comes together in such a good time. I know it's a cliche, we've heard this before, but it's so true to see you guys come together so well and for the audience just to love what you guys do, which I think is fabulous. So love happens here. Where do you guys find your love? Our love is with the band. We love music. Our music, music is our passion and music is actually the universal language of love. Thanks guys. You are fabulous. We'll see you next Thank year. You. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.